Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today I'm going to be doing an upgrade on the recent ITX Cooler Master NR200 build that I did for like more of a student audience. It was a more of a budget ITX build that didn't have a graphics card. Um, you know, it was, it was aimed at somebody that wanted to get a machine up and running quickly to be able to take with them to use in their dorms, etc. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to turn that into more of a, uh, I would say, more of a gaming ITX build. So it's something that you can still take with you as a student, but it's a lot more expensive, but you can use it for gaming while you're away. Or you could use it for, say, the likes of LAN parties. Still using the Cool Master NR200, basically seeing, because it is a relatively big ITX case, what kind of hardware can it handle in terms of getting it in there and it, how easy it was, that kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's have a look at what extra hardware I'm going to put in it to turn it into a more of a gaming orientated machine. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm changing the CPU over from a, the 5600G to a 5600X. Very small upgrade, but because there's a graphics card going in this machine now, the kind of onboard graphics for the 5600G is a waste. And the IPC instructions, that um, improvements that come with the 5600X compared to the 5600G because of the higher cache on the X means that it's a slight upgrade, so that's why I'm changing it over. Next and most importantly is the um, the graphics card, which is an EVGA 3060 Ti. I managed to pick this up at relatively close to the recommended price from EVGA, so it was a good deal. Um, obviously, graphics cards are hard to come by right now. I'm actually going to be selling this build at cost. Um, please uh, stay tuned to the end of the video when I'll be giving more details on how you'll be able to pick this up. So that was the, the big, the biggest upgrade, obviously, because this, with the graphics card, it's going to turn into more of a uh, games machine. And lastly, the last part I'm going to put in. Not lastly, actually, <laughs> because storage-wise, I'm going to be putting an NVMe drive. This is going to be a boot drive. The uh, SSD that I already put in there is going to be for games and data and stuff like that. So this should help improve the speed of the machine because this will obviously run Windows faster. The last upgrade is I'm going to be putting in a very specific ITX cooler. I'm putting this in because the the AMD stock cooler that came with the 5600G was actually hitting the memory, um, which is not a good thing. So I needed to find a cooler that would fit better in the build. So I'm going to give this a try. All right, so that's the hardware I'm including. I think it will turn it into a pretty good machine with a 5600X, a 3060 Ti graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM, 1.5 terabytes of hard drive space. So pretty good machine. Oh, and of course, with the motherboard, it's got built-in Wi-Fi as well. So... Excellent for a dorm or a LAN party, whatever you want to use it for. So without further ado, let's get to a very quick um, build B-roll. I'm just going to show you the parts going in. Uh, after that, I'm going to go through how the case was to build in with the extra parts and whether it coped with it okay, all of that good stuff. All right, so on with the B-roll. So let's have a look at the build then. This is what it finally looks like. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the cooler is actually different than the one I originally showed at the beginning of the video. The reason for that is the actual ITX cooler that I was planning to use didn't fit. It was way too wide and it wouldn't fit in the gap where the CPU is. So what I've had to do is use the, the Vitro V5 that I have on hand. It's a white cooler, so it goes with the build and it looks pretty nice. Um, and it actually, it's a full size, it's a credit to the case because it's a full size cooler and it fit magnificently. It's a really good cooler and will do very well with the 5600X, no problem. So it was a bit of a pain that I couldn't use the cooler I was going to use. Um, but all in all, um, yeah, pr pretty good. 
Now, one of the things that I'm going to flag up now is you'll notice I'm not using the panel on the side I originally did in the student build for the, the fans. I've put them down at the bottom. That was because with using this cooler, it's very close to the side, so I couldn't use those two fans on the side. I had to put them down the bottom. I originally planned to put two at the top, but when you're putting fans at the top of this case, and you'll see I've managed to put one fan in, they require long screws because you can't go in from the top. You've got to screw them in from the bottom. So the long screws, the case uh, only comes with one set and they're not really screws, they're like these plugs that shove in. So with only having one set, I was only able to put one fan, so I added a fan that originally wasn't used in the build, so it's got extra cooling, which is good. But the two fans that I originally had on the side, I had to pull on the bottom, so that was a bit of a pain, but not a deal stealer. And I think it looks pretty attractive anyway, because now we've got extra cooling in there. The graphics card went in like a charm, had to be very conscious of cable management, so I had to make sure that the cables were nicely tucked out of the way because originally they were interfering where the graphics card needed to go. It's still very tight, but as you can see, I think it looks pretty decent. Oh, and don't forget, I actually went with Windows 11 with this build, which is the first machine I've gone with Windows 11 on. Haven't seen any um, issues so far. I made sure I installed the latest AMD uh, dri um, chipset drivers to fix the problems that were there previously. The um, NVIDIA drivers went, went in for the graphics card and everything seems to be going well, so no problems so far. So be interesting to see how it goes with Windows 11. So the build went very well. Um, as you've seen from the, just the breakdown I did there, it, you know, it's a bit finicky and for somebody with me with the sausage fingers, it was a bit tight and a bit more awkward and a bit more of a pain. I, I was a bit disappointed that the cooler that I bought didn't go in, but, you know, ve very pleased that a full-size cooler would have fit in this case. Um, so all in all, it went great. So the build itself, I'm going to be selling it at cost on Facebook Market. This is only going to be available um, to somebody that was going to come and get this machine in the state of New Jersey. So I will put on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, etc., etc., when the build is going to be available to purchase. I think it'll make a perfect Christmas present for somebody that's looking to get a gaming PC for Christmas. Um, as I said, I'm putting it up at cost, so it's not going to cost an, uh, a fortune compared to what it would do if you bought the parts yourself off various scalpers, etc. And it's all built and ready to go, and it's got the operating system installed, everything, so it's ready. So, again, I will post on social media when this build becomes available for purchase. But I think somebody who ever buys it is going to be very, very happy. All right, so that, that wraps everything up. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you think the build's really cool. If you've built in an ITX and built a gaming machine like this and you've got any comments to make, or you've got any suggestions how I could possibly change it or improve it, or if you've got any criticisms, point out something where I've gone wrong, please leave a comment down below. Please like the video because obviously the likes always help with the old YouTube algorithm, etc, etc. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit the magic 1000, which is proving to be very, very difficult in the, this day and age because subscribers just seem to be very, very hard to come by all of a sudden. So I'd be really appreciate if you'd subscribe. And last but not least, as always, take care.